Welcome. Uh, today, I'd like to um, uh, introduce uh, Paristu Abra. Uh, Paristu is going to, to kick us off uh, talking about the overview of what we're going to be looking at today with Aviva Engineering Solutions and what we're going to be learning about today. She's the partner and sales manager at Aviva with over 20 years of professional experience in the energy, energy industry and industrial software business. And she's got an in-depth knowledge of project execution, operations, industry 4.0, and digital transformation. Thanks, Paris, and welcome. Hi. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Mike, for introduction. Uh, my name is Paris Sauber. Yes, working with Aviva 20 years. I don't want to go through my age. It's 20 years is too much. But yeah, I worked with Aviva for 20 years, and my focus is around engineering design data, that how we can help our customer uh, to use the engineering information and pass to the operation. Uh, in overall, what we wanted to cover today, just give everybody an overall show that what, if, who is Aviva? Aviva is industrial software leader. Uh, and the, our portfolio is a really compelling portfolio. And as you can see, the engineering information is the most important part of the, our portfolio because you will, um, designed once and then you you wanted to use that design and using even during the operation what we are facing now that what is industry challenge now in in the market is that everybody they, they are starting from design and then the designers and the epc or engineering contractor they pass the all the information to fabrication construction without any collaboration and everybody they have to redo all of these design and data recovery and as you can see in the project life cycle uh, the operation when we reach the operation the change is there so we cannot ignore the change which is this is the basic of the being the document-centric rather than data-centric. And, uh, and this is the complexity of a data that now everybody they are dealing with, no matter it's a project phase or it's an operational phase. You can see that we just considering a very, very simple pump, how many metadata, how many attributes is around that pump. And what is a Viva philosophy is that for any physical asset, it should be a digital asset and it should be evergreen. And uh, how we um, partner with our customers to see that, walk them through this digitalization journey. Uh, we have a different steps. We can go from different parts of the digitalization journey working with our customers, we can start to understand their data, to put 1D, 2D, 3D data, all of them sync together to deliver a single source of truth. And then we can mature their data and having a, using those data, mature and having an intelligent PNID, intelligent instrumentation to help our customer to reach to the point to use that data for the operation. And everything, as I mentioned, Aviva philosophy, everything should be Evergreen. As Murray mentioned, how what we cover today, it's our digital twin, digital engineering that uh, Paul Henderson after me, he will take care of that digital twin. And then we will go through that, how we can mature your data, which is our smart PNID, engineering data, smart electrical and instrumentation, our 3D solution that how you can do the collaboration between different disciplines and different in different geographical location, and our, our contract risk management that how you can take care of your cash flow and uh, take care of your change orders. And then we have enterprise resource management that how you can take care of your cats and specs all the material that you have for procurement, construction, and commissioning startup. And then we have control of work that how you can take care of your, again, commissioning for local tag out and uh, for safety of your work, because safety is much, is the most important part for our core business in Aviva. And at the end, we will focus on the laser scanning, which is the, the hot, uh, topic in the world now that how they can retrieve their um, uh, their physical asset and just make the digital asset visible. 
I am done.